Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on how to add something like the Hughes motion detector onto SmartThings. So for those of you who don't know, you can actually control the regular Hughes lights, bulbs, and stuff like that through SmartThings. However, Hughes makes it where the motion detectors themselves and possibly other things, I don't have other things other than the lights and motion detectors but uh, motion detectors are invisible to smart things. The problem with this is on Hughes, there is no way to know what your battery level is currently. Plus on top of that, by adding it to smart things, given that you have a little bit of technical know-how, you can get it to do a lot of other things. Like for example, get it to announce when someone's at the front door or whatever it may be. Plus on top of that with the Hughes light bulbs, you're only, for the Hughes side, you're only limited up to five motion detectors, and that might be five accessories all, all together, whereas with smart things, you can pretty much go nuts right there. So as far as that goes, um, and, and personally, I like the uh, Hughes motion detectors hands down simply because it has a pretty good uh, range it's battery life is pretty good plus the magnetic on the back makes it where i don't have to drill into the wall as long as there's something magnetic behind it so that helps out quite massively but um with that one in mind what you need to do is go to the following page and um log in do whatever go to the my device handler you might not have anything showing up there and go to create a new device handler. Following that, you want to go to the following page and just highlight over this entire thing and copy it. And um, as far as this goes, you might want to follow it in case it gets updated. It doesn't seem to be updated for a while. And go back to the page like before, go to code and just paste that in and go to create. And there we go. Following that, you want to go ahead and reset the device itself. Make sure that the hue thing is blinking when you uh, reset it so it knows to look for it. So once you have the device, and, and keep in mind, if you um, added the device before you did the previous step with on the computer, you won't get the um, thing to recognize as a motion detector and you got to reset it again. So note that. But um, as you see here, it's able to tell me the battery level, if there's motion, no motion, whatnot. It should be telling me there is motion because I am holding it in my hand right now. But in either, either case, it's able to, to look at things and um, see uh, it is there. And right now it says there is motion. So big thing to note is you're able to configure it and do whatever you want at this point. But anyways, hope that this helped you out and hope you have a great day.